Hey guys, it's Carnage 6 back again, and yes, it's time for another Horror Block unboxing. So let's not waste any time, and let's see what we got in this month's Horror Block. Ooh, I can almost, I can already see some cool stuff in here. But let's start, of course, as we always do, with the t-shirt. And I gotta say, I can see what this is now, and I really, really like it. It is a Welcome to Silent Hill, Death is No Escape. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty cool. And this is pretty um, timely, because if you know what's going on with the Silent Hill games, and they are like a series of video games, horror video games, and you'll, you'll know that the company that makes this series... Uh, Konami, they actually canceled the newest Silent Hill game, and they're turning to all mobile games, which really sucks. So, it's really interesting to get a Silent Hill t-shirt right at this particular time. And I wish that they would reconsider, because that game looked pretty awesome. Now, the next thing we have in here, I am going to go with, um, well, the next thing is this Funko Pop. And here we have... If you can see it, Will Graham from Hannibal. Now, is this from the TV series? I think it is, because I have no idea who the hell Will Graham is. <laughs> and you can see some other uh, figures in the line, Hannibal Lecter and stuff. So I'm assuming that this is from the TV series. It looks like it, judging from the picture up there. Or is it from the movie? I don't know. You guys tell me. But, um, yeah, I always love getting Funko Pops, and this is a pretty awesome one. Now, what do we have next? Let's see. This is a picture of the uh, Gill Man, the creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just like an art print or something, because it just says... Not since the beginning of time has the world beheld terror like this, but there's nothing really on the back. So I'm guessing this is an art print of some kind, and it does look pretty cool. What else do we have? Well, we have a book this time. This looks pretty cool. Weird Stats and Morbid Facts. Rumor Magazines puts this out. And I'm not sure exactly what it is, but... Uh, Let's see, did you know Sigourney Weaver claimed to have suffered nightmares for two weeks after reading the script for M. Night Shyamalan's A Village? Oh, this is about, I guess, uh, facts about movies, horror movies. And you can read up uh, on that. This is a pretty thick book. Like, look at that. That's, that's pretty thick. I'm going to be reading that for a long time. That's pretty cool. I really like that. So far, I really love what's in this uh, horror block. And next we have something that actually looks like a DVD to me. And you know I love getting DVDs in the Horror Block. So let's see, what is this? Horror Block Short Film Festival 2015. And again, it's uh, done by Rue Morgue. This is pretty awesome. This has to be, I guess, a bunch of uh, short horror films. We have Playtime, The Family That Prays, Sinners, Lady in the Walls. Scared to death. Now, I don't know if these are, like, from YouTube videos or, you know, actual short films. But, again, I always love giving a, getting a DVD set in the horror block. And this is pretty awesome. <clears throat> and, finally, it looks like we have... Uh, uh, I can get it out. Again, this month's Rue Morgue magazine. It has an article on The Human Centipede 3. Now, I have watched the other two movies, and... Most of the reviews say the third one is really awful. I don't know, what, have you guys seen it yet? If you have, let me know how it is down below. But yeah, I've heard it's not as good as the other two. But anyway, I'll enjoy reading up on it. And finally, of course, we get the little card. That tells us all the stuff that we get inside. And as you can see, it has the shirt, the DVD, Oh, I guess you could get one of four of the Funko Pops, the book, and the magazine, and this little art print, whatever it is. But anyway, guys, that is, that is it for this month's Horror Block unboxing. 
I really love this stuff. I mean, you get quite a lot of stuff in this uh, horror block. I definitely love, for sure, the DVD. That is awesome. I do love that we get an actual book, like a real thick book. That is really awesome, too. And, of course, I always love getting Funko Pops. So, yeah, that was quite, quite a very good horror block, in my opinion. So, what do you guys think? Did you like what we got in this month's horror block? And yeah, let me know about some of those uh, questions I asked earlier. So, until next time, and next month's Horror Block Unboxing, I'll see ya.